coming right there. All right, guys, this is Randall Rawhide Worth. What we're going to talk about is hunting spears today. All these spears that you see that I have here for hunting were made with the stuff I carry on my belt and my backpack, stuff that you're going to have with you in an emergency situation you need to be able to use in a variety of different manners. Today we're talking about spears. These spears like this and this one here of local river cane. Now, before I talk about the ends, what you need to know about them is these are dry because they've, I've had them for a while and I've, I've made them. But you, when you're going to actually make them to use, you want them green, you want them flexible, or the tips can be breaking up, break off from them. Now, like I said, everything on these I did with the tools on my belt uh, and the rope and stuff I carry in my backpack, this twine. Now, I don't know in the movies where the guys get the big fish. I spent three years in the jungles. This is about the size of the fish I ate almost all the time, okay? I do not know where they got those large fish. They probably exist, I just never saw them. So what I'm gonna show you on the fishing ones are designed for that. Now this is a two-prong one. Now a small fish, he can be grabbed with these and they have cuts out, cutouts here, so if I do puncture the fish, but mostly the fish is gonna get caught in between here and it's got edges in there to keep them in there. This is flexible. So that's really where I'm gonna try and catch the fish. That's a two-prong one. But if he's large enough, it will puncture the fish and go into them, okay? So that's a two-prong. This next one is a three-prong, all right? Now you can see if you gotta spread it, and you'll see the pieces of wood or piece of the, the river cane that I put in here and then I tied it to keep the ends open, okay? This is not made, these aren't really sharp at all. This is made for the fish to get caught in it. Remember, they're gonna be small fish. This is a three-angled one, and the inside's hard for you maybe be to see, but what I left was part of the bamboo on the joint. Right here, there's a joint on these, right? On that joint is a lip. I left the lip, so when the fish gets forced in here, the lip keeps the fish inside the spearhead, okay? I don't know where you get the big fish. This is for catching fish I got to eat. All right, this is a four-prong one. Okay, this does the same thing. It has the edges on the inside of it. It spreads apart and it's made to catch the fish inside the prongs, okay? They work and they work well. I made these up a long time ago. I didn't use any special tool but that what I cover or what I carry, okay? Now, you can puncture fish with sharp edges like this. Now this one is cedar. It's straight and it's a nice long one, but mostly I'd use this for hunting game, okay? What this has is a rounded edge. Remember I showed you my knife, one of the things that I liked on my uh, tool is the file. Now, RAS, that's how I made this round. So you usually you would harden this. I didn't do that, but you can harden it in your fire. But you can make it round on a point. This is what I defend myself or trying to get game on the ground. Can I get fish with it? Yes. But I never saw fish big enough in the three years I was in the jungle that I'd wanted to use this. That's why I use the other ones. Now, when I was out looking, you can't see this whole thing, but this is a knot. I knew right away that'd be extremely hard. So it's really hard for me to work with and I didn't have to fire it. This thing is brutally tough. So what I did on it, I don't know if you can see it, the edges are flat. I have two flat edges, one here, one on this side, and then I flatten these edges here. It's not rounded. It'll still puncture. But this bad boy is made of hardwood. It's called uh, Osage Orange. This is extremely hard. I picked this thing on purpose, but it's extremely hard to work with. Really hard. It's going to wear you out. But this thing will last you. Now these type of spears that are made for hunting animals, advantages, you can use them to walk with. So they have two purposes. You can also fend off animals with the back ends of them also. The, the river cane, not so much. They're, they're gonna break. They're only made for fishing, okay? 
So remember, when you're in a survival situation, there's a lot of things that you can do. But if you don't carry tools on you to make something, every country in the world has different tools for their environment to make stuff they can survive with, okay? This is the 21st century. Use 21st gear, carry it on you, okay? Don't rely on old school stuff. I carry this stuff on me everywhere I go. There's knives and different stuff on me. Be smart about it. You want to survive. That's the whole point. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything. If you like the shirt that we're wearing in the video, you can get it in our store.